Heliogen's new tech could unlock renewable energy for industrial manufacturing. It's a breakthrough in the quest to reduce carbon emissions. Last Monday a group of millionaires and billionaires took a trip to an industrial site in Lancaster, California, to witness the achievement of what could represent a giant leap forward in the effort to decarbonize some of the world's most carbon-intensive industries. For Bill Gross, the founder of Idealab and brains behind the excursion, the unveiling was simply the latest in a string of demonstrations for new technologies commercialized by his nearly three-decade-old startup company Incubator. However, it may be the most significant. What Gross is pursuing with his new company, Heliogen, offers a way forward for renewable energy to be applied to manufacturing processes for cement, lime, coke, and steel, some of the most energy-intensive and polluting industries that exist in the world today. Today, industrial processes like those used to make cement, steel, and other materials are responsible for more than a fifth of all emissions, said Bill Gates, a heliogen backer who has committed millions of dollars to the development of new renewable energy technologies. These materials are everywhere in our lives but we don't have any proven breakthroughs that will give us affordable, zero-carbon versions of them. If we're going to get to zero-carbon emissions overall, we have a lot of inventing to do. I'm pleased to have been an early backer of Bill Gross's novel solar concentration technology. Its capacity to achieve the high temperatures required for these processes is a promising development in the quest to one day replace fossil fuel. According to Gross, Kita Kolaru, an investor in Heliogen who is also backing another of Idealab's incubated companies working on developing an energy storage technology, Energy Vault, said after seeing the demonstration, Bill. This is even bigger. At its core, Heliogen is taking a well known technology called concentrated solar power and improving its ability to generate heat with new computer vision, sensing and control technologies, says Gross. Four high-resolution cameras capture real-time video of a field of mirrors that are controlled by sensors to focus the sun's energy on a particular spot. That spot, either at a transmission pipe used to transport gas, or a tower, is heated to over 1000 degrees Celsius. Previous commercial concentrating solar thermal systems could only reach temperatures of 565 degrees Celsius, the company said. That's useful for generating power, but can't meet the needs of industrial processes. Achieving temperatures above 1000 degrees Celsius gives manufacturing facilities the opportunity to replace the use of fossil fuels in a significant portion of their operations. A facility hoping to install Heliogen's tech for more on this story, visit the news article link.